Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be an Ulta haul. As you guys saw from my last video, I did post a lot of new Tarte products and I also wanted to share a couple of more goodies that I did pick up for my trip. So if you guys want to see what I picked up and what I think about them from the products that I have tried, then just keep on watching. Okay, so I'm going to get started with something from Too Faced. I picked up the Too Faced Melted Matte Liquid Lipstick and this, as you guys can see from the box, is really dark. Um, I did pick up the darkest shade. Um, I believe they have a black one, but I picked up the second to last darkest shade. So that's what it looks like. This is in the shade called Evil Twin, and I've just been eyeing it for so long. I went with my friend once, and I saw this color, and I was just like, you know I'm going to have to come back and get this because it's just calling my name. So I'm going to swatch it on the back of my hand, and this is what the color looks like. I know you guys may not be able to see the true color of it, but it's actually just a really dark red, super dark red. It almost has like a violet tone to it, but it pulls more warm. So it's definitely not going to be like Potion by Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's super nice. As you guys can see from the swatch, it probably sucks and it's going to look really red. But if I can post an up close with it on my Instagram, then I will definitely do that for you guys. Just so you guys can see the overall color um, that is really gorgeous. I cannot wait to wear this on my lips. I do have some really exciting videos coming up for you guys, so I will be using that in a tutorial. The next product that I picked up was the Tarteus Pro High Performance Neutrals Amazonian Clay Palette. This palette is so pretty and it comes with 20 eyeshadows. I'm such a fan of eyeshadows, especially from Tarte Cosmetics. And if the palette contains mostly mattes, that's also a plus. So I wanted to pick this up. It does retail for $53 and I know that's a lot more pricey. I did talk with the Ulta girl about it and I was just like, it is really expensive. but. The palette overall is super pretty. I actually have it in front of me to show to you guys. And I'm going to use the cover of it to block the mirror so you guys aren't blinded by like the lights and everything. Um, but this is what the palette looks like. It is so, so pretty. I love the variety of tones that you get in it and you get four duo chromes up top here. I just think the palette was set up so nicely. I like how they set it up in like... Um, why did I take the box away? I like how they set it up almost like coordinated so that if you want to do like a really pink look you can use this row if you want to do more of a purple look you can use this one it's just set up really nicely and i think it's going to be really nice for the people that are just into makeup or don't really um, know how to get creative when they get a new eyeshadow palette i think this is going to be a great great gift for the holidays just because it contains so much and although it's very pricey i'm sure that if you're getting it for someone really special they will really enjoy it the next product that I picked up was the Tarteus Pro Glow Palette, which comes in this packaging here. So it's very similar to the original packaging of the Tarteus Pro because they're all around the same line. Black and gold, which I do think would black and gold, which I do think is really nice. So I really do like this palette. Um, this is what the palette looks like. I also have this one right next to me, and I actually used it today on my face and for I always use it to highlight and on my inner corner. So this is what this puppy looks like. It is so, so pretty. I think that if you want to get something for, if you really have someone in your family that really likes highlights or that just really enjoys makeup, this is going to be like the perfect gift. It's $45. So again, it's not super like, it is, to me, I think it's a great deal because the packaging on it it's so well done that I'm just like, it should have been, you know, probably more. But I really do like the colors in this palette. I've used Stunner um, on my last video, and I also mix a little bit of Strobe. Today I use Lit, and then I also use it in my inner corner. I just love it. I think it's going to look great on so many skin tones, and it's just so well done. I really do like that palette. A lot. I like it more than the Ultimate Glow Kit and more than the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kits just because I find that this formula for me is much easier to work with and it definitely shows up on my complexion. With the Anastasia ones, no hate to her, I love her products, but I just felt like it took a lot to build up and especially with the Ultimate Glow Kit, I just felt like there was a lot of fallout. I do not experience with the I do not experience that with this palette. I think I can get a really nice glow and 
although there's a little bit of fall on my brush I just tap it off and it's nothing so I don't see a lot of glitter particles on the rest of my face I just see it where I placed it and that's what I really like about it so I'm gonna share the next couple of Tarte products that I picked up for my trip just to get her out of the way um, I did pick up two of their lashes one is already in the same packaging but the ones that I'm wearing today are actually from Tarte these are in the style goddess and I freaking love them I think they are my brand new staple when it comes to eye to eyelashes I think I paid nine dollars for my eyelashes um, when I went to my store but online they seem to be retailing for twelve dollars so I'm not sure if that's like just something they're doing now that it's just released or if that's actually going to be the price of them but overall I think for the price of them I do really like them they're super easy to apply I have never had such ease when applying lashes especially if I don't have like a guideline with eyeliner I love these lashes they are so wispy they are so full they're dramatic but they're not super like over the top um, I found that the Grand Glamour Lashes by Vegas Nay looked really heavy on my eyes and these, I just love how they look. So I'm really a big fan of these. I would definitely purchase this style again, but I'm going to see how many uses I can get out of this pair that I'm using. Like I said, I did pick up another style of the Tarte Lashes and these are in this style called Flirt, which look like this. They're really long. They're much longer than like the original ones that I'm wearing uh, they're really they're just supposed to be it says on the back flirty lash wispy lashes that add flirty length so these are more for like volume and these are more for length so depending on what it is that you're looking for when you're applying false lashes it will tell you on the back of the packaging which I think is also really nice so they added a description of it um, on the back and the packaging is really nice this one comes more with like a crisscross packaging but this one comes more with a splatter so I think it's really cool Along with the lashes, I decided why not try their um, lash adhesive, so I did pick it up. This is a super well done lash adhesive. This is a super well done lash adhesive. I really do enjoy it. I think it's super nice. It almost comes in like how a liquid liner looks and it's really easy to just like apply to the back of the lash. It dries quite quickly, so I do like that as well. Um, overall, like I've said, I just really do like this lash adhesive. It dries quickly and it doesn't um it's not like super goopy so i do like it okay so next i got the tartius clay paint liner which looks like this i really wanted this eyeliner so bad ever since it came out and it's really rare for me to want like a liquid liner or a gel eyeliner from a more expensive brand i'm usually not that type of person i stick to like Maybelline or elf um, and for my liner that I use now is my OG NYC But I decided to get this one because I just really liked how it applied on other people and I really like the concept of it how it comes in like the squeeze tube. It's waterproof and I just saw a lot of people have really good ease with it So I decided that I wanted to pick it up. So this is what it looks like. It just comes in the squeeze tube Really really nice I really like the packaging of it and I haven't tried it out yet, but when I do, I will let you guys know my thoughts. The next product that I picked up from this trip was the Lorac Pro Matte Palette. I have been wanting this palette since last year and I contemplated on getting it so many times just because I thought it wasn't anything different. I have a weak spot for Lorac Pro Cosmetics. I love all of their products, I really do, and from the- I just- not all of their products, I haven't tried all of their products, but I really do like their eyeshadow formulation. I have all three of the Mega palettes, I have all three of the original Pro palettes, and I just want the other Metal palette, which I will be picking up soon. This one, I was just like, okay, I need you in my collection. I mean, there isn't any, there's not any repeats in this palette on the other palettes, so might as well get it. This one, I believe, was $28 and you do get a total of eight eyeshadows so i love it i haven't used it yet but i'm sure it's going to be amazing yes this is what the packaging would have looked like if i did get it together this is the naturally nude stila all day liquid lipstick set so this is the packaging that they came in these are the three liquid lipsticks that came in this set they're super cute and I love how they're little because I feel like you never really go through a liquid lipstick really quickly 
and I'm actually wearing one today. I cannot stop wearing them. I love the formulation of them. They're really comfortable. This is the shade called Perla. I got you guys with the swatches, but I already messed up one. The one over here. So it's just a baby pink with a cool undertone. It's that one right there. And then you have the shade Serenata, which I really like this shade. I love this shade. So when I have on, if this is a full size shade, I'm definitely going to get the, like, the actual full size of it. But I really liked this set because it just allows you to try it for $20. I believe it retail for $20 or $25, but it allows you to try three different liquid lipsticks um, for that price. And I think that's really cool. And then you have the shade, the most infamous shade called Patina, which I wore in my last video. So, Serenata is the one I'm wearing in the middle. And then Patina I wore in my last video. The only one I haven't worn is Perla. Uh, Mario Badescu Skincare um, Facial Spray with Aloe Herbs and Rose Water. This has gotten so much hype on the internet and just like everyone that's really into makeup always talks about this and how it's like a really nice setting spray and almost like MAC Fix Plus. I have the MAC Fix Plus, but I'm gonna say I honestly like this one better. With MAC Fix Plus, I feel like it's really, even though I like the mist of it, I just like this one so much better and I'm gonna apply it some more right now. I just feel like it's so nice. I love rose water. I really just like the mist of it. I like the fragrance. I think it just feels really healthy and it just really gives your complexion like a fresher look, especially when you've already finished your makeup. I've just been enjoying it a lot. I really do like this facial spray. I've never felt like that about a facial spray and I've bought many before and I just, I really dig this one. So that is the end of my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it as always. I do have some really exciting videos coming up for you guys. I will be doing a tutorial on one of my best friends and I will be doing a lot of more holiday tutorials So just keep an eye out for that. As always, if you guys like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and let me know your thoughts down below. Let me know what you guys are going to get for Christmas, like what is on your wish list and all this other stuff. I'm super excited to just jump into the holidays. Oh, so that is it for this haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you guys all in my next one.